Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool, and this is a set of OEM multi-function pens. It's about 20 bucks or 10 bucks a pen. These are heavy aluminum and um, possibly brass uh, pieces. I'll show you why I think that. But anyway, there's a larger one here and a smaller one. They both have a lot of hidden features as well. First of all, both start out with a, a ballpoint pen. Writes just fine. Um, uses a twist deployment here to both uh, raise and lower the, the pen tip. Comes with two extra inserts or, or um, refills, different sizes for the different size pens. But anyway, on this one, first of all, you'll notice it does have scales. Now this is like one three hundredth of a meter. Then the, we've got um, standard centimeters, one one hundredth of a meter. There's inches and then one two hundredth of a meter. Uh, uses a rubber end here, so you can use that to operate, uh, you know, one of the touchscreen devices. Uh, it's a little stylus there. If I unscrew this thing on the back, which you can store it up on this end, um, you'll notice a small Phillips. If I pull that out, you can see there's a small slotted on the other side. That's why I think there's some other material besides aluminum in here. There's a lot of this kind of bronzy colored or brassy colored material. Um, so anyway, that's in there. So if you want a, a little screwdriver, uh, it has a bubble level built in as well. Pocket clip, pretty simple design. Some substantial weight, not a huge amount, but it's definitely not a little Bic pen. The larger one here, obviously it's got a bottle opener. Uh, again, pocket clip and a bubble level, and it's got a huge bubble in it. You can see, easier to read. Uh, centimeters and inches on this one. And then uh, up at the front end, obviously, there's the, the ballpoint back here. There's a flashlight. Actually, what it looked like when it worked was kind of like this thing. It was just a little bubble light that stuck out, so you can imagine what it looks like. But after one drop, um, basically not a very high drop, uh, this stopped working. I did take it apart, played around with it um, to see this is the how this thing is in here. Inside here are the little batteries. So I'm, I'm thinking it's a, at the front end, so I took that apart trying to figure out if there's any way to fix it. I don't know what happened. Um, just stopped working after I dropped the pen, you know, literally. Um, got the batteries out. But anyway, on the front end, you can see here, I'll show you. I can take this piece out, and then here is a stylus, as well as another screwdriver. So you can kind of mix and match, or, you know, I like things. It's a little hard to get out. Um... There we go. You can see it's got an O-ring there. I like things like this in meetings. You're bored. I want to invent a fidget pen that literally allows you to, um, you know, take it apart or move things around. This one, eh, I don't know. Interesting. Uh, is it worth 20 bucks? If you like these kinds of things, if you want to build a green tool kit like I am, then sure, it's worth it. Um, you'll notice the this is just simply cut out, not even fully painted inside there. It does say it comes with a 90 degree or 90 degree 90 um, uh, day warranty so I may see if I can get this thing fixed. Um, overall they write well. They're bright. They're pretty. I guess if you like the green tools and I know a lot of people do um, and uh, it's an OEM tool so there is probably some quality there. This is also if I take this thing out this is friction fit but this one just has the the um, the refill. Anyway, there it is. In case you're wondering about these things, they pop up sometimes. The OEM Tools Multifunction Pen Kit in Snap-on Green, Zombie Green, whatever you want. And with that, Doc out.